Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we're going to talk, actually answer a lot of questions about Windows 10, uh, and correct one little thing here uh, that was said in a previous video. Um, so, of course, it is still the beginning of the end. Windows 10 has a lot of things that are being removed, um, including the purchase of product keys from Microsoft. So that means that as time goes by, it will be more and more difficult to find a product key for Windows 10 uh, to activate as January 31st is the end date. No more product keys will be done. And, and that means that after that, if you can't find a product key of some sort, uh, well, you'll run a Windows 10 that's unactivated because it won't have uh, the possibility to get a key to activate. Um, so let's uh, just uh, talk about a few things. Um, so first of all, for the uh, end of bug fixing updates, um, it affects 21H2 and previous, um, not 22H2. So the latest version of Windows 10 will still get to some point because in another blog post that was emitted, it's not for the entire uh, period. It's for a while after March 2023. There will still be some bug fixes to Windows 10 on 22H2 only. Um, but that won't be forever. Um, what I've seen is possibly not much more till the end of the year. But uh, yes, after March 2023, as some have uh, mentioned in comments, uh, there will be some Windows 10 22H2 updates for bug fixes. But um, 21H2 is going to end its support soon. So that also explains one thing here is that 21H2, uh, if you're still there, you will get about four or five months. It ends in June, I think, May or June of this year. So um, basically in June of this year, 21H2 is going to be end of support anyways. Uh, to correct a few things and answer a few questions uh, about the future of Windows 10, once again, the end of support date, because a lot of people uh, mix in the bug fixes and the end of support. End of support is for security updates and end of support is October 2025. That doesn't change. I don't know exactly how Microsoft intends to continue to support because 22H2 is going to end support in mid-2024. So that means they have to bump up that number. So I would guess they want to bump up to 23H2 at some point and also end the 22H2 bug fixes at the same time, which will follow. So it's going to be like... The bug fixes will always be for the last version available only and nothing more. So uh, when 23H2 gets here to bump up that, um, you know, support for another year or another 18 months, basically, that also means that that will be the only bug fixing that they will get will be only that version and the previous version 22H2 will stop. So, um, it's always the last version that gets still the bug fixes. Uh, as for the downloads of Windows 10 and all of that, nothing changes. Microsoft's website for download of Windows 10 is staying there. You'll be able to download images of Windows 10 through the Microsoft website as long as you want. So this, well, as long as, long as it's available and supported. They'll probably remove it towards the end when Windows 10 is not um, an operating system that is supported anymore. But um, for now and for the months to come, there won't be any problem in getting Windows 10, um, downloading it from the Microsoft website. The other question I get a lot is, okay, but if the product key stop being sold, is my product key still valid? Yes, it does not change anything to the existing product keys. So if you have Windows 10 installed in your PC, it that key is valid and you can reinstall Windows in six months or in a year in Windows 10 and it's definitely still going to be there and be okay. So there's no problem. Your valid your key is still valid. Also, the loophole that we talk about all the time if you have a 
Windows 7 or Windows 8 product key lying around for moving to Windows 10 for free is going to be valid and still work after Microsoft decides to stop selling the product keys on January 31st. So there's no change to that. That still works. Your product key is still valid. They just won't give out any new product keys, meaning as the product keys will actually expire and nobody has some anymore, well, it'll be impossible to install Windows 10 uh, at, a, at a certain point because there won't be any valid product keys available to uh, activate it. But if you have one right now in your system, you reinstall Windows next year, it's, it's going to activate and it's still going to work. The keys are still valid. The ones that are sold are valid. The ones that, but the, there won't be new keys in the future. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of things like that. Um, when I guess I get a lot of, uh, of comments of, well, time to move to Linux, which nobody does, um, really, uh, which is funny because it just tells me that uh, if you uh, move to Linux, you don't do a lot with your PC because honestly, all the big useful software for any types of hardware that is out of the ordinary are all Windows related. And that's something that you got to understand. You know, every time somebody tells me I moved to Linux, fine, but you are very limited compared to Windows because a lot of the stuff that you can do is, you know, pretty much limited to uh, whatever was available in a Linux distro. And so um, when I see somebody say, you know, I'm, it's time to move to Linux, uh, it's more of a joke than anything else. Uh, and probably Linux fanboys that try to pretend people are moving away uh, from Windows to Linux, which is absolutely not the case. Uh, once again, Linux, the Linux versions and Linux uh, market share, if you look in the last 10 years, has not moved. It's not more, it's not less, it's always the same, which is just saying it's the same base of people just staying there. Uh, but, you know, I see it here uh, with a lot of the things that I do and sp the special hardware that I use and a lot of people use and, and some of the radio stuff that I do. And um, anybody that comes from Linux telling me, well, what is available on Linux for that? Nothing. You got one software. You got 50 software, different software in Windows. It, it just shows you. So when somebody tells me, you know, I moved to Linux, it tells me you don't do a lot with your PC if you're able to move to Linux. You're just a standard user pretty much. So anyways, um, you know, don't worry about your, ex your existing product key and things like that. still works. The downloads will still work on the Windows website. Absolutely no problem. Um, just no more keys. And the bug fixes will always be only on the latest version available. So 22H2 for uh, for the next months. That's going to stop later this year. 23H2 is going to arrive. 22H2, no more bug fixes. Only 23H2 will have bug fixes and so on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.